Today's lesson is about time and speed. You will learn about how to use the words referring to time and words referring to speed in Dutch. Tijd en snelheid. Time and speed. All right, because you will need uh, many of these words in your daily life and your daily work, so it's very important that you understand and practice the pronunciation and the meaning uh, of these words. So if I would say, I am on time, I say, ik ben op tijd. I hope I'm on time, ik hoop dat ik op tijd ben. If I'm too early, or early, I say, ik ben vroeg. Yesterday I was early at work, gisteren was ik vroeg op werk. Late is laat in Dutch. So, I'm sorry I'm late. Sorry dat ik laat ben. Peter is altijd te laat. Peter is always too late. That's the word laat. The word fast is snel. I am driving fast. Ik rij snel. You can also say Ik rij hard. In English you can't say I'm driving hard. But um, to drive fast can also be said as hard rijden. I can say I will go to the cafeteria to grab some food real quick. Then you can say, ik ga snel even naar de kantine om eten te halen. And I'll be back quick. En ik ben snel weer terug. To go slow is langzaam. Slow is langzaam. Deze auto rijdt erg langzaam. This car is driving really slow. This meeting is going very slow. Deze vergadering gaat erg langzaam. I want it to go faster. Ik wil dat het sneller gaat. Faster, sneller. Referring to time, you can also say long in Dutch, lang. So, this is taking too long. Dit duurt te lang. Lang is also referring to measurements. So I can say, my daughter is tall. In Dutch, that's lang. Short, my daughter is short. Then I would say, kort. Similar words, short and kort. And you use it in similar ways. But kort also refers to time. You can say, deze film was heel kort. This movie was very short. But you can also say, my son is very short. That means he is not very tall. I am shorter than my oldest. Ik ben korter dan mijn oudste. To make something in a state of referring, uh, referring to time and uh, speed, you can add the letters V-E-R. Ver. So if I want to um, make the meeting take place earlier, so early is vroeg, make it earlier is vervroegen, to make it earlier. If I want to make it, uh, make the appointment later, then I also add ver to the word laat. So I can say verlaten. I want to, ik wil de meeting verlaten. Verlaten also means to leave, but referring to time, you can also say verlaten, to make it later. You can also say, I want to reschedule the meeting. Then I would say verplaatsen. Ik wil de meeting, of ik wil de vergadering verplaatsen. Verplaatsen also means something else. You can also use verplaatsen as relocate. So, 
Ik ga mijn stoel verplaatsen. Means I'm going to relocate my chair. So verplaatsen refers to time and uh, objects. Versnellen means speed up. Ik wil graag dit proces versnellen. I want to speed up this process. And the reverse vertragen means to uh, lessen the speed. So I want it to go slower. Kunnen wij dit proces vertragen? Is dit proces vertraagd? Can we lessen the time of this process? You use the word vertragen. So remember the word ver before making something earlier or later. And uh, keep practicing. And I see you in the next lesson.